Swinging and banging on the ones and twos. Mindset over bullshit university. Hosted by Kendrick Avant, your agent of gratitude. Mindset over bullshit university is a daily talk show. And the intention is to inspire, educate, and entertain kings to be better despite all of that bullshit going on around you. I want you to be a better spouse despite the issues in your relationship. I want you to be a better parent, even if the kids ain't done them chores. And I want you to be a better leader, despite all the responsibilities banging at their front door. I am you, you are me, and the stories we share, all this shit that works and don't work, that's what makes us mindset over bullshit university. Appreciate you all for joining me tonight for this episode. It is Tuesday, April 25th. Tuesday, April 25th. And I'm kicking off today by giving a shout out because every episode I open it up by honoring somebody we need to stop and give credit to. Today, let me stop and give credit to all the brothers and sisters out there who take care of the other ones. Woo! And you know what I'm talking about. Of course, we know about big brothers. Big brothers and big sisters who do all the hard work. While the parents are at work, they are feeding little brothers and little sisters. While the parents are doing other stuff, they are helping little brothers and little sisters with homework. They fight their fights for them. They take them back and forth to places they need to go. Shit, man. I got a few of them here. Like, I got three daughters. I got to give her props because she does her little brother's hair. She does her little sister's hair. That's three sets of hairs, man. I got to give her props for shit like that. And it's a whole lot of you big brothers and big sisters doing that. It's a whole lot of you little brothers and little sisters taking care of your big brother. Thank y'all for that, man. I appreciate y'all for that. And I bet that the big queen you talking to, whoever it is you rocking with, whoever it is you covering for, I know she is giving you a thousand thank yous every time. <laughs> so that's who gets the props today. Brothers and sisters who take care of the rest of us. Take care of the family, helping out getting jobs, managing the money so it's not spent in the wrong place. Oh my God, doing the cooking. Sheesh. That's real shit right there by itself. It's doing the cooking for everybody else. So whatever it is you're doing, I see you. I see you. A thousand thank yous. I bow my head to you, king, queen, for taking care of the little ones, taking care of the big ones, taking care of the old ones like me. A thousand thank yous. Good shit, huh? I know. I thought about that one. Face in your face. Gotta give intentions next. The intention for today. For your boy. And I've done a pretty good job of that today. Yesterday, I was terrible at it. Today, I've done a very good job. Not very good. I've done a much better job of talking to myself. Giving that positive talk. And I'm not always talking crazy. I told y'all that. Sometimes you got to talk to yourself smooth and cool. So all day I have been telling myself, I know you're healing. I know you're getting better. As I take these steps to the bathroom and I got to do the arm crawl, or I got to do the Spider-Man walk where you have to put your arms on every single thing because you can't even lean against stuff. You have to put pressure on everything. You got to have the disability or that chronic illness to know what I'm talking about. That is a daily part of life. So as I've been going through that today, I keep saying out loud, it is not good enough just to think it in your head. Start like that. But the more comfortable you are saying it out loud, I can walk. I can take four steps. I can raise my knees. I can raise my knees. My name is Kendrick and I can raise my knees. Say this shit over and over. You'll feel your legs beginning to pick up just a little bit more. And it's not like they're feeling lighter. Oh no, they still feel heavy as shit. Still hurt, all of that. You just find yourself with 
a little bit extra uh, to get that leg up because you're saying it out loud. It's like your body can hear you. Get on that shit, man. That's what I've been on all day today. Been trying to get stay cool and calm and collected because I know my wheelchair is coming. The good one, this regular one, is aggravating the hell out of my contractures. Contractures are where your legs begin to actually form in the shape of your wheelchair. That's what's going on with my legs. It's been going on like that for a while. And when you got a shitty wheelchair, it gets even worse. So my legs are contracted. I have contractures. And then I have multiple sclerosis. And then I have the spondylosis. All of that goes together. But saying it out loud, I'm trying to tell y'all, man, I'm telling y'all that because if it's helping me, I know it can help somebody else. Say that shit out loud. I never thought it could work like that. I never did. That shit works. Say it out loud. Get crunk with yourself, man. Talk however you need to. Let's talk about what you are tracking. I track my yoga every day. I track my water every day. I track my meditation every day. And of course, man, you know I track the hell out of my manifestations. If you follow me on Instagram, Agent of Gratitude, you see every four to six hours, I'm going live, I'm posting videos, I'm showing you my manifestations, I'm telling you about the yoga I'm doing, I'm telling you about the meditation I'm doing. I do that every four to six hours on Instagram, so check me out there. In my gratitude journal, I actually track this stuff, y'all. You got to get real with yourself, man. You got to take your improvement serious. Got to take it serious. So, where I've been tracking it, my yoga, done two rounds. I should be on round three right now. As a matter of fact, I made a promise on Instagram. Woo! So, I'm going to wrap that little bit. Meditation, got that in, got it five minutes in. Plus, that every time I do my yoga now, I do, I do a one or two minute meditation add to. Not a whole five, but I do one or two minutes. Water, six o'clock it's 6 30 my, my time and this is number two terrible with this shit today man terrible 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 <laughs> vitamins and supplements as of six o'clock i have not taken them terrible pop my damn self man i remember that for tomorrow too i'm gonna get it done today i'm gonna get it done today gotta say it to my damn self my manifestation, though, that one I'm on, day number 25. Remember, your goal is 21 days in a row, three, six, nine. I'm on day number 25. I can't stop, man. I'm not going to stop because I told y'all about that dream I had a few days ago over the weekend. Do y'all remember what percentage is tied to this? Remember? Nobody? 40 percent. You are 42 percent likely to complete your goals if you write them down. So I'll write down this yoga. So I'll write down this water. That's why I'm tracking my meditation. That's why I know about my doggone manifestations. I know all this shit because I'm tracking it. I'm watching it. It's in my head. And the more of this being in your head is a whole lot better than all the overthinking, worrying about the last thing you said to the kids, Tripping on if you made your spouse mad about something. Oh my gosh, dreading that call to your mama or your daddy or your child or whatever it is. You won't have as much of those if you fill your head up with the shit you're supposed to be doing. Tracking your yoga, your meditation, your workouts, whatever it is supposed to do. Get on that man, 42% more likely. Call to action. You know we got to have a call to action. We got to talk about something that you guys need to do, you queens need to do, your boy needs to do. Y'all need to check out this TV show that comes on Peacock. Man, this shit is so live, and it's called Bust Down. B-U-S-T, Bust Down. Oh, man, oh, shit. It's got that comedian, Sam J. She is off the chain funny already. I don't know any of the other people. But it's basically about four friends. Three kings, one queen. Four friends. 
and they all work for a casino. And it's just like the antics and shenanigans that go on with the with this casino, man. It's called Bust Down. It comes on Peacock. This is 30 minute episodes, dude. 30 minute episodes. You ain't gotta worry about nobody getting shot, killed, and stuff like that. No violence. This is pure comedy. And I mean they own the comedy. So it's even talking about like light skinned people versus dark skinned people. This is going all the way in. So in the way in the in the year 2022. If stuff like that gets un under your skin, the white versus black thing and ageism, sexism, racism, if those issues are hot topics for you, avoid bust down. But if you're laughing at that shit, like if you are, if you found that, that, that whole Chris Brown, that whole Chris Brown, Will Smith thing, if you find those memes still funny a week later, damn it, you're going to laugh your ass off at bust down. I'm trying to tell you, man. Bust down goes fed. Sam J is the girl. I'm rocking with her for a minute on Netflix. Bust down comes on Peacock. That's your call to action. Check that out. Pure comedy. Get with your girl. Get with your king. Might not want to watch that with your kids unless they older. Because I'm telling you, man, it is raw as hell. But 30 minute fun. Check that out. Give me all a little bit of value. Now, y'all know your boy has gotten fired again. Got fired last in January. Thought I had a gig lined up in February, February, March. I just knew I had this job lined up. I didn't want the job. I promise I didn't. I did not deserve the job. I didn't want the job, but I just knew I had it. I just knew I had it. And them bastards told me no. I'm shocked. I am shocked. I'm shocked. But they told me no forces me to keep doing what the hell I'm doing right now. That means my instead of a bullshit university, the podcast, the Instagrams, everything I'm doing now is there. I'm part of that. I'm doing all this because I ain't got no, I ain't got no what's good. Tomorrow, Wednesday, April 26th, is the Texas Workforce Commission Virtual Job Fair. You ain't got to drive a damn place, man. All you got to do is sign up for the shit. That's it. And that's, that's all it takes. Literally that quick. You sign us like your name, your email, your number, your contact information. That's one email. And a few months later, they send the thing back. I keep snapping that way you know what I'm talking about. The Texas Workforce Commission. That's some hell of value for y'all. I know sometimes y'all think to yourselves, I ain't got no bathroom problem. Why are you telling me how to? Like, how to have bowel movements. Man, why you telling me how to pee pee better? Whatever, dog. This right here, the Texas Workforce Commission. If you got disabilities, you can still go. If you got no car, you can still go. If you are there with the kids, your ass can still go. The Texas Workforce Commission, virtual job fair tomorrow. Tomorrow, Wednesday. What time? Starts at... I, I'm a lie until y'all starts at 8 o'clock central. It no, really starts at 9 o'clock central. Know. But if I tell your ass 9 o'clock central, I know you end up being late. Real you. If you're like me with a chronic illness or a disability, no. it doesn't matter what time somebody tells you anyway. You gotta go to the bathroom. You may call. You may fall out the wheelchair. There's all type of shit that we do. You went to the bathroom already, but if you got urinary incontinence, you got to keep going to the bathroom. Sometimes nothing comes out. This is shit, why is still an issue. I cannot still coach, before. mentor, so be teach anybody. Because the issues I have, the limitations I have, I know. I'm not know. trying to hear that I bullshit. I, I hold your but ass that mean you can't accountable show up at as fuck. 942, 916, 903, 1040, 1130. It doesn't matter when, man. 9 to 530. 9 to 5.30, Texas Workforce Commission Job Fair. All type of gigs. You can look up what job. What jobs they got, Doug? Uh, I got to have so-and-so money. I know, player. That's what I'm telling you about the shit. And if you're serious, then go check the shit out. TWC.com, I think you start at. And then from there, sign up, register everything else. Yes, I will have the link as a part of this podcast, this daily show. However... You can also find it at allthingsonelove.com. Yeah, I know this is a blog report too, man. 
It starts right there, man. Starts right there, man, with the blog, dog. This goes to YouTube. This goes to Spotify. This goes becomes a podcast. So if you don't watch things like to listen to it, it comes there too. All that's there. But if you go to allthingsonelove.com, my actual blog, then you can see the words and the links and the pictures and the videos that go with everything. Allthingsonelove.com is the home base for all of this shit. Mindset of a bullshit, that's where we do this. This specific thing, this live interaction, this live gratitude journaling, that's what you're paying for. Because nobody else gets this. They can listen to it afterwards. They can jam it afterwards, rock with it afterwards. But they got to be part of the university and pay their tuition to be in here with us, live gratitude journaling, live talking about yoga. If somebody had questions on yoga, I would answer it. You want me to show you a yoga pose, I'm going to show it to you. I will bounce here on weekends. I'm here for a couple of hours every weekend, setting up and doing things like love language tests with kids, all that good stuff. All that good stuff. And I didn't end up going all the way off damn the topic, man. Texas Workforce Commission Job Fair, tomorrow, 9 Central. Get your ass up if you need to, man. Or keep right there at the crib, keep building your shit. Because I've been telling y'all that since 2018. If you are disabled, got a chronic illness, start a fucking business. You at the crib, man. Do this shit. To every king out there going through something, take it from your squad, dog. Mindset over bullshit. That's all it's all about, man. Get with your squad. Get with your squad. Kings go. My goal today was to sleep in. I did that. Slept in all the way till 6 a.m. I'm normally up. I consider myself getting up at 4 a.m., 5 a.m. late. I like to be up around 2 or 3. Do I set alarms? Nope. Don't need to. Because I'm up all the time with the, with the spasms and everything with the multiple sclerosis. But since I do the yoga every 4 to 6 hours, I can just get my ass on up. Today... I needed to chill out, relax, and just chill. And I did that. Slept in till six, put me behind the game with everything else. But I'm cool beans with it, man. I'm cool beans with it. That was my king's care. That was my self-care today. You know what y'all are doing, man, but I would love for y'all to leave that shit in the comments. Send me a message about it. You know you can go to allthingsonelove.com and send me a direct message. You know, you can sign up for the doggone Facebook group and send me direct messages too. Good shit, man. Get up with me. King's News. If y'all don't follow me on Instagram, Agent of Gratitude. At Agent of Gratitude on Instagram. On TikTok, I'm just Kendrick Ava. Facebook, I'm just Kendrick Ava. Twitter, I'm Agent Gratitude. But never mind all that, man. Focus. If you have not been paying attention to the NBA, to Ja Morant, Tell me what you want after this club. Oh. Colonizers are saying that. And there's a difference between colonizers and white people. The colonizers are saying, whoop that trick. Whoop. I mean, they out there all going live for John Moran, man. John Moran is like, what? My five, son five, already ten, corrected five, me. He is 6'3, 174 like pounds. pounds. I feel like he's the same size as me. Maybe he's six feet. I should have looked it up earlier. I didn't. I've been watching him since he was in school. He was a road runner at, um, I forgot, Murray State. He went to Murray State. I know he was there with Zion. He was an All-American, really good high school basketball player. But he didn't get the props and, ac and accolades that everybody else got because of his, his size, man. The kid, I'm telling you, you look at them highlights, 
the kid is small. It's his third year, and I mean, he is balling out. He's like Allen Iverson, a coachable Allen Iverson. Coachable Allen Iverson. And AI is my favorite player of all time. Y'all know I'm a Laker dude, but AI is my favorite player of all time. That's who Ja Morant reminds me of. Because when AI first came in the game from Georgetown, y'all forgot AI used to... Yeah, yeah, yamming on boys. I mean, slam dunking the highlights. Y'all remember when he was a rookie and shook and shook Jordan? That's who Ja Morant is. And unless you watch the NBA, and I don't watch the NBA. I, I don't watch the NFL in, anymore either. But man, that those highlights, the shit that he does... And the way the city of Memphis is, like, taking him in. Because I don't know who else is on their team. I have no idea who else is on the Memphis squad. None. But, man, the way the crowd is screaming, whoop that trick. And, and if you don't know where that comes from, it was the movie Hustle and Flow. It had um, Terrence, Terrence, not Terrence Howard, is that the name? The dude, the dude with the eyes. He's in, um... I don't know, the show about the Empire. He was in Empire. I think his name was Terrence Howard. He was a rapper. He was showing like the story. I don't Never mind all that. That shit makes me want to watch the games. John Morant is going to bring my ass to the NBA. I can watch his regular games. Not even, And I want to see his games in Memphis too. Because I want to see the crowd's energy. I want to see how they react. Look man, I'm an emotional person now. I am a sensitive person now. I admit it. I'm cool with it. This is where I am in life. And so I just want to rock and roll with it. That John Moran shit, that is some current events. Who's that shit? 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 The way, whoop that trick. That's how a city takes care of you. I like that, man. I like that. That's your King's news. Then the rest of what's going on. The only thing that's King News is Ja Morant and how the city of Memphis is holding this man and this man is holding him right back. Love, dog. That's an underdog city, an underdog star, an underdog squad. Yo, man, shit. An underdog history because the name Memphis comes from Egypt. Underdog shit everywhere with that, man. Jump on game. Jump on game. I told y'all before, told y'all starting off yesterday, we now have a special segment, a special topic, and I'm including this because there are so many queens that are interacting with your boy. We're going to be on Instagram going live for yoga session number three tomorrow. It's supposed to be, it's supposed to be live around maybe four or five o'clock central because a queen is on the Eastern time zone and she says look by the time you start doing shit, bro. I'm in bed. I want but I want to get with it. I'm down with it Queens if you fuck with me, I'm fucking with you back, man I know what's up if you fuck with me. I'm with you. That's how we're doing it. So for the Queens thoughts today I'm gonna read y'all a passage from a book that my daughter has bought me and I read these things to y'all. That way it gives you something to just think about, chill with, meditate on. If you do your own queen's care, and maybe you're hot in the bathroom, something you can think about. So here we go. Queen's, queen's thoughts. The fog rolls in and covers the shoreline, shrouding everything in mystery. Like a heavy blanket, it covers everything in its path. Only when you move close enough to something can you see it clearly. There is beauty in mystery and discovery. If you are in a period of wondering, move closer to get a clearer picture. Be patient for things to reveal themselves for you. There is beauty in revelations. When we wait with anticipation, the reveal can feel even more astounding. Now, what things in your life do you need to examine more closely? Me, myself, 
I got to examine, number one, the stats. I do a lot on Instagram. I'm doing a lot on LinkedIn. I'm doing a lot with the blog, but I never pay attention to what actually works. And if I pay attention to what actually works, the fog of business, the fog of making money, the pressure of all that I know could be reduced and released. That's what this means for me. That is one of the things in life I can examine more closely. I spend an insane amount of time doing this stuff with y'all, but I never analyze my own work. So that's what I can analyze more closely. I can also analyze more closely my kids love language. I've been telling them a few things about that, this and that. I could really do some more with that. I really, really could. I got all types of shit that I could keep going. But I'm focusing on starting with analyzing my own damn business stuff. The Instagram numbers, the views, the comments. See what and see what's working. Queens, there you go. I'm telling you, man, I got y'all back. Salute. Me goes every day. Told y'all, man, you're 42% more likely to complete your goal if you write it down. My goal today is to finish the addition to the services on allthingsonelove.com. I'm bringing it back. I am bringing it back. And I got some things coming. Once it's done, you'll see more of it. But that's my goal today is to get the services page completed. Last up, gratitudes, dog. You know what's up with this, ladies and gents. Gratitudes every day. Three things you are grateful for and three whys. Every, excuse me, everything's got to have a why. Everything must have a why. And the reason that you want that why is because the longer you spend writing that why out, the less time you have with negative thoughts. The less time you have thinking about what you used to be able to do. The less time you have wondering if you're going to get any worse. The less time you have tripping on your lips being chapped, man. Any of that type of shit. It all goes together. You get your gratitude. You get your why statements. That's how it works. So gratitude number one. I am grateful there is that job fair at Texas Workforce Commission. Nope, I do not plan on going. I want to focus all my energy on what I am doing right now. I'm growing so much. However, I can tell y'all and help somebody else to find employment. <laughs> Boom, you know I'm here for y'all, man. Love y'all, dog. Number two, I am grateful that I had that interview with Devin Maley today. Grateful because, number one, I missed it yesterday and I was scared to death I had lost the dude. He wasn't going to talk to me. Number two, I'm grateful because the guy is big into crypto, into NFTs, and taught me a few things, and I've been trying to avoid shit like that. And number three, I'm grateful because he came on and talked about his drinking game for HBCUs. Yes, a drinking game for HBCUs. He's doing it like that. 23 years old, man. 23 years old. I'm old enough to be his goddamn dad. Shit, I'm getting old, man. But either way, interview was fly. Got in and out. Everything went perfect. And that will help with the week I have designed. Because I'm aboard. In a couple of weeks, I'm doing a tribute special to young people and entrepreneurs. That's when his interview will be released. I'm going to tell y'all, man, things coming aligned. Things are coming aligned. Number four, last gratitude. Oh, it's number three. I only did three today. I was out of Rome, man. I would have given y'all more, but I was out of Rome. So, number three. <clears throat> Taco about it Tuesday. I came up with that myself. Taco about it Tuesday. That's going to be the new segment I have on Tuesdays on the Wisdom app. I don't know if I do it tonight, though. Be the new segment on Wednesdays on the Wisdom app. I'm going to use this to answer any questions that y'all are bringing to me, pick up questions that people may have, tell stories, and spread how a gratitude journal affects your mindset. How a gratitude journal is helping me grow. That's going to be on Taco Bada Tuesdays on Wisdom. So if you sign up for the 
Mindset Over Bullshit newsletter. One of the great things about it is that weekly inspirational quote. One of the great things about it is you get to see all the spots and places to catch me doing these talks and everything. Especially if you're not paying for it and you're not part of the tuition and everything with Mindset Over Bullshit. You can also catch the tips of the week, strategies and clues and everything of the week, stuff that make you better, do better, grow better. Leaders that own a business, leaders that are part of a business, it always has in there what you can do that week to improve your culture of the workplace. Not talking about the culture, your culture of the workplace, man. So I appreciate y'all for rocking with me. Stay pretty, be grateful, your call to action was to check out Bust Down on Peacock. Appreciate y'all for rocking with me. I'm out. Hold up, but that's the way I feel. But hold up, hold up, but that's the way I feel. Every time I get to my get to my